welcome back to my channel. All right, so today's video is a little bit different than I normally do my videos. I'm gonna just talk you guys through this everyday makeup routine that I'm gonna do. Most days I do not wear makeup. I just look like this on an average day. I try to do my hair just in case I have to go out and run an errand so I look decent. But if I'm gonna go out and have a meeting or meet with people or anything of that nature, I do like to put makeup on. Okay, so I'm gonna start with some MAC Face and Body Foundation. This is like a really light foundation, but it evens out the entirety of my face, so that's why I really like it. And um, I just, I use a beauty blender that is um, wet, slightly wet. So I try to take good care of my skin. I mean, I have a breakout right now, but I try to take good care of my skin so that I don't have to like cover it with makeup. And so I don't wear makeup that often, but when I do, I just use a really light, um, foundation. It's all about kind of the evening out of your skin tone. I like to use a brightening concealer and I just like sponge it in. So now I'm covering up this ginormous zit. Me and Byron are always laughing because literally like he just got one right in between his eyebrow and I got a huge one here. And you feel like when you're talking to people like you're not even talking anymore. It's your, it's your zit. <laughs> like your zit's talking for you. Now I'm gonna suck in my cheeks. This is a blush brush, so I probably should be using a contour brush, but you know what? I'm not going to. So I'm using this Anastasia pencil, and I'm just gonna fill in the spaces that aren't as dark so that it looks like wherever my hair is, that it's a full, just a full brow. So I'm just gonna, wherever the hair grows, I'm gonna just gently fill that in so that it's really even looking. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna use that Anastasia pot you can use to fill in your brows. I actually use that as a liner. It's almost kind of like a creamy, liner eyeshadow. I have a tricky eye to work with because they're small and they're almond shaped. I just kind of apply it like to the rim right there, real close to my lash line. It just kind of makes my eyes appear bigger. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it to the other side. I'm gonna finish off my eyes in a second, but I actually forgot to put blush on. I usually kind of make a face like that so that my cheeks puff out. You can always overdo blush and some people like it as a trend to be like super pink. But the biggest thing is to make it look flushed. Okay, so for eyes, I'm gonna continue to open up the eyes and that's kind of the key. So I use a eyelash curler. The way that I do it is I put the eyelash curler on my eye and as I'm pushing down, whoop, as I'm pushing down, I go upward like that. I really like this Tarte uh, Lights Camera Lashes. I've been using it for the last year. I like that it's, it's kind of a drier formula. Um, my mascara always tends to end, um, end up on the bottom of my eye. And this one doesn't do that as often as some of the other ones I've tried. Although some of the other ones I like the formula, it just ends up under my eye so I can't use it as often. I like, I'll take one of these brushes and kind of feather out the mascara a little bit so it's not as clumpy. Now time for lipstick. I've actually been messing around with lipstick a little bit more lately. Normally I just put a gloss on and one of the glosses I've been really liking is the YSL one. So like sometimes I'll just put that on and that's it. Like that's all that I'll put on. Today I'll probably do Angel. There's a few I've been liking and I'll talk about those in my August favorites, but I'm gonna put this Tarte lip liner on, which this is a little bit, it's like maybe a half a shade darker than my natural lip color. So it looks super natural. Not super natural, but super natural. Super natural. Maybe she's bored with it. Maybe it's my believe. I always thought they were saying maybe it's make believe. My brother and I got in a big argument about that when we were kids. He's like, it's Maybelline, Rachel. I'm like, no, it's not. It's maybe she's bored with it. Maybe it's make believe. <laughs> Oh, my poor brother. So now I actually have like a um, brush on this end. 
I'm gonna take it, this is Angel by MAC, and I'm gonna just apply a little bit. This is a little bit pinker than my natural lip color. If I wanna go even pinkier, I wanna pump up the pink a notch, I'll do the Saint Germain by MAC and I'll just put a little bit. I'm gonna top it off, ooh, I actually know. I'm gonna top it off with the NARS Turkish Delight. They just changed the formula for this bad boy, so it is way better than the previous one. And it looks good with anything. Okay, so I have to fix my hair a little bit more before I go out because usually I let it dry a little bit and then I go in and kind of straighten because I have half curly, half, like I blow, blow dried it and then this is what it looks like. So I'll go in and kind of like mess around with it or if I'm just being really casual, I can just let it be. But this is the look that I've been wearing on most days. Um, I've been kind of experimenting with pinker lips but everything else is pretty much the same. So I, um, yeah, so anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later, bye. So I've been doing giveaways all summer long and I'm gonna finish off my giveaways with my two favorite lip products right now. So if you want a chance to win, be sure to check the description below. As always, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and check out my last video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.